hey guys welcome back to my channel i just want to say thank you very much to all of you for your support and your encouragement um thank you to all my new subscribers and to all my old subscribers thank you very much and god bless you all um so um if you've not watched some of these videos some of my videos please go down below and watch some of the videos especially my recent videos my hair videos and some other ones and i know you will love them so the purpose of this um the is um this life in the uk test so i took this test um back and um long time ago i've been procrastinating i've been wanting to like review this book or see what you could expect um taking life in the uk test but finally today i decided i'm gonna do it there's no more procrastination again i break that boundary <laughs> so you guys i'm just going to be um i'm going to take it one after another and explain what you should expect while taking this test um first of all I read this book and I read everything if you check inside like I read from beginning to the ending of this book and I I did the practice test at the, at the back if you can see that I did everything completely like everything in this book completely I did it even from the back I had to there's a website that you go and um, also um online is like something online something that you go and uh, open www.lifeintheuk. dot um net slash um what is it again sorry let me double check that oh yes yeah, so this is it um so you get the app there's a particular app it, it cost me two pounds then if I can remember vividly this and um also the app where you can just scan this and it will take you straight to app store where you can download this particular um app and then that a website is um www.lifeintheuk.org or dot net something like that I'll, i'm going to try and and um, probably link it down below where you can go and and um, practice the real practice question which is um, the last bit of that question is exactly what the computer will look on the day you're taking the real exam. So, but well for um, for now, let's let's continue. So, I will urge you honestly to read this book, if not for anything, to um, acquire knowledge. There are so many things back then that I didn't know about the uk which i got to understand before christ and after christ i know it's a very difficult book to be honest but i i really got discouraged at a point because some people were telling me not to read this book don't read this book no it's too much just go online do the practice test and go to the exam which i know some people did it and they and they um they passed but the truth of the matter remains that everyone is not the same you know um, so what I will advise you is if you're the type that read and you understand what you're reading before finishing the the this book maybe like a um, few pages away from finishing the book you could just go ahead and book your test so that everything you read will still be there until you get into your um, exam one advice i will give to you is please do not panic because panic is the only thing that will make you fail the exam not that you didn't read don't panic because this exam is as simple as anything and i promise you it's not difficult don't go and panic and say oh my god what if i fail listen if you fail doesn't mean you're a failure it means simply try again that's what it means it means that you are not ready then it means simply try again so do not panic don't say oh my god what am i gonna do what if i fail no just the exam takes one week if you book it one week to go so it's enough time for you to go through that app which is the app that you download this is what it looks like download this app read over and over and over again you have a practice question at the back you've got other apps which is which are very 
you know useful that you can download and um life in the uk test there are so many of them that you can download and um you know go through practice each and and one thing is when you're practicing please make sure you don't just do it today and leave it tomorrow do it all the time just go ahead and do it all the time don't stop practice on and on whenever you're at least it's an app and you have your phone all the time so you can go ahead and practice it on and on let it stick into your head you will surely do it some of the questions that came out are just common sense common sense will let you know that this is just common sense you know it's not like um it's just common sense it's not like um something that some of the questions honestly did not come from this book it's just common sense like i said um what happens in christmas the kind of food you eat in christmas different type of food from different place which is um not um scotland osla fries and um what do you call it not northern ireland and um um what do you call it again so it's just like the different food and there are different um houses of assembly and all that it's not like a big deal it's not something that you cannot do it's something you can do and they are all in this app so all it requires for you is if you read this book and you don't understand anything go ahead and practice do more of the practice do practice and practice with that app you'll be all right don't panic don't be scared just it's something i sat for it it's just once i didn't like i did it once and to be honest when i saw this book it was quite difficult imagine you reading history before christ and after christ what the hell i was not born by then why do i want to know what happened then even though it's important but when i started reading this book like i wanted to like know more because it's really important at the same time so i read this book and i practiced with the apps as well so all you need to pass that exam is constant practicing don't just say i'm practicing now and i'm ending it keep practicing practice and practice and practice you will be all right and then to be honest when you get there just be calm like be calm and then pray that's another thing ask the holy spirit to direct your pattern give you peace because if you have peace you'll be able to concentrate and do everything you need to do don't panic you know i'm sorry if i offend you with what i just said i'm a christian and i'm you know i'm ready to say it anywhere anytime so um like i said pray to whoever you believe in i believe in god i believe in jesus christ and i prayed before going to that exam and i sat my exam once and i came out obviously so many people have taken this exam so many times and they didn't pass not because they don't know what they are doing maybe out of fear or maybe they didn't consult their oracle which my oracle is jesus my oracle is god and i did consulted my oracle before going there so you should do the same you know trust in the lord and um, with all your might and believe in because in all all things he will direct your path that's the truth you know call upon him he is the only one that you can call upon when you're in danger or when anything happens or when you're being forget and forgetting things um he said if any of you lack wisdom he should um call on him right just um go, go ahead and do that that's all you need to do if you feel like you're panicking or you're not at peace that means first of all you didn't read very well you're not really prepared secondly you did not pray if you prepared very well and you feel like oh i'm scared just pray even if you don't know how to pray just say father please do this that's a simple prayer will do everything you don't need to come and start shaking the mountain you know that's all you need to do and um honestly i panicked a little bit when i was going the going um on the escalator i was like oh my god i don't know what to expect what do i expect i haven't even got anyone that took this exam that i could ask what is the experience like how did you see it? how is it working like but i never had anyone but i just believed um it was actually at the dying minute i think it was actually on my way going that i had to ask someone because i was like oh i'm going to take life in the uk test and he said to me okay these are the things you should expect and that give gave me a little bit of um you know encouragement but still i was panicking because it's an exam everyone panics for exam but when you get there to be honest don't panic too much don't see that something you cannot do it's a very simple thing some of the things that comes out there are the things that you know they are like day-to-day -day things so it's not something to worry about i was worried because i didn't know what to expect that is why i'm 
um coming up here to tell you guys not to worry like you know my experience don't worry it's not a big deal don't worry just take all your worries away hand it to jesus he will sort it out for you just go about reading this book and practicing your test on and on and on you will do it and then there's one thing that i think every person says this thing comes out every year or every time um this um the important date in the life of um, women in the breathing which is 1928 the day that we are um at the age of 30 that we are given the right to vote um you don't have to be wealthy before you vote sort of thing um so 1928 is really important so those dates you should know them it's not every date that will come out even if they do they will give you something that make you they will say in the, in what happened between this person and this person so obviously if you read if you read or read this book you obviously will remember what happened and you'll be able to answer the question so it's not a big deal get yourself prepared know what happened that app will really 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 help which is this app and other ones that you've got um on there as well this app and i might um, i think i'm putting it upside down this app and then um, just all you need to scan that back backward and then you'll be able to get that straight from um from apple um apple store or whichever um if you use android mac um whatever um place you download apps you'll be able to get them and it, it costs um, it cost me only two two pounds yes like i said before so i just if i have to keep talking and talking to make you feel comfortable to make you feel confident enough to go into that place and take your exam i would do because i was a panic wreck when i was on my way going there but when i got there i thought oh it's not even worth it you know and then another advice i will give you guys is when you're when you've gone in there don't um there well there's there's a locker to put your thing but don't go and carry a big bag well this is winter so you you allow your jacket don't take a risk watch because they will take it off you and they'll put it somewhere with your water make sure you're having a clear bottle like um i'm gonna show you one um okay make sure if you have this you have to like take the label off because i don't believe that they believe maybe something might be here so let it be like a clear bottle like this don't go there and start expecting them to tell you to remove it just be nice and remove it yourself don't bring a wristwatch um what else you are you not allowed to bring um if i can because it's been a long time though so um don't bring a wristwatch don't bring that one your jacket off make sure you take your id cards that you registered with make sure you take your um what else i think is your print your printout or something your id card yes your id card and any utility bill or bank statement that has your name completely your real name completely if you have it that's what they require that those two things either bank statement electricity water or anything at all that that like shows your um address that's all you need to go there so if you registered with your driving license yes they accept it if you register with your um resident permit yes and then you must go with any of the um what do you call it any of the um utility bill or your bank statement printout and it must be original one and if it's not original one the bank can stamp it and they will accept that one because i did went with the stamped one and they they accepted it so <clears throat> excuse me that's basically what you need guys and there's no you know there's no big deal there's nothing to panic sorry so you don't have to you know worry yourself too much or panic or say oh i don't know what to expect this is as simple as that this is all you need to you know go with and get yourself prepared don't go there and think oh they will pity me or they will have mercy on me nobody's listening to you all they need to ask you is confirm your name confirm why you came here today 
and then after that you go and sit and wait and after that they will not tell you okay you're ready for your exam you they will take you into the room which you will see other people there but everybody is on their computer and you sit down and then you start your exam they will give first thing that will pop up is the example which will be one question that you answer just to get you prepared and after that start your exam if you write your exam you have opportunity to go back which is like you have 40 45 minutes yes so you have an opportunity to go back if you're not sure of your answers or if you've answered and you're still not sure you can go back and check and check and check but if you're sure just go about and then say finish and then when you finish you just go and sit and wait for your um and um, your re results or certificate rather so from there they will give you another instruction of how to you know keep the certificate and all that which is not in my place to tell you so i hope this helps and then i hope um I, you pass your exam and i wish you all the best and remember what i said don't panic it's not worth panicking for it's not just it's just a normal thing that you read from this book you know i understand how it feels because i was like that but i'm encouraging you not to be like that because it's not all that you understand just be yourself even though i heard i don't know if it's a rumor that i heard that life in the uk test will change and become harder but if it does eventually still don't panic just be yourself and expect read what comes from this book and expect to pass that's what i was an expectant and then i went there sat for once and i passed and then i'm grateful to god honestly so do best you can and leave the rest even if you miss it it's not the end of the world go and see very good that means you're not ready you're like yourself is not ready not you but just go back and read and revise over and over again and you definitely make it i promise like it's not a big deal like i said don't kill yourself don't panic if you don't make it at once and i'm going to say me the grace of the lord be with you and thank you very much and listen don't be scared it's not worth it you're the best and i wish you luck in your exam thank you very much and i hope to see you i hope to um see you come to this and thing and say congratulations i thank you for your advice i passed my test i'm waiting for you to do that and all the best thank you very much guys and i'll see you in my next other video which may not be this but my normal video so go ahead and check and subscribe like and comment down below and i'll see you guys in my next other video thank you